Hello and welcome to day 11 of the building of our spear gun. So this is the mathematical um, configuration of our bands. We do it from here, that's here, to shark fin number one. And then we do it from the second hole to the second shark fin. So here you can see it is um, from here to here, like already said, it's 82 centimeters with the coefficient um, of 3.2 when you're pulling the rubbers. That's um, 25 centimeter multiplied by two because you have two sides of the spear guns. That's 51 um, centimeter band length plus two centimeters because you have the middle middle part um, of the band insertion. So we have the length of the first band 53 and the second one is 55 centimeter. So let's come to the last part, um, the line rigging and the tying of the rubber bands. Let's start with the rubber bands. Okay, first we stick in our, um, our insertions in the rubber band and do it like this twist so you have the form of the fixed rubber band just make them wet spit on them a bit and push them in there so now we have the insertions in there and now we do four fisherman's knot in here for the knot we use this dyneema this is the best quality for these knots they won't break open. So this is how you tie the knot. You make one cross here, then again under it, over this one and under the cross and then you can pull it tight and it won't open. Now you can see how it pulls. Okay, that's perfect. Cut the ends. One and two. Leave a little bit because we're gonna flame it later. Now oh, you have these four knots, so just burn the ends. Uh, use the sander to make it conical so it looks nicer and there's no irritation in the water. This uh, is how I pull the bands through the holes. The holes are a little bit smaller than the bands but that's okay so the rubber won't go anywhere. So I take a long string, put it through, put it through the insertion then use a lot of spit, a little bit in there, and then with pull it through. Okay, nice. So now the last part for the bands is just take these two millimeters um, string. Pull it through the hole of the blue tick insertions, make a small normal knot, and then you're finished. <coughs> one, one on the other side. And this is gonna help. Okay, let's start with the line rigging. This is the idea. This is the black string. It goes all through here to the front hole, over here, and here's the knot of the reel. And just spool it.
Okay, now how to connect these both. It's an easy knot. It's called in English, I think, the fisherman's knot. And in Germany we call it Spierenstich. It's a normal knot on the red one. Okay, so here. Okay, we can. And so, and on a normal knot with the black one on the red string. And pull it tight and it pulls together <coughs> and this is gonna help you can easily open it and now 30 meters of the red one the idea is that you can see when the first 30 meters of the band is of the string is depleted So now the line ringing with the nylon, this is 1.8 nylon and 1.8 crimps. I put it through the last hole, through the last hole on the left side. So it will lay here and it's gonna be no problem to pull the gun, pull it over here. So from here, under here, to the front, under here, goes down in this, this one, back, back to the line release, under here, and at this. Just connect the shooting line with um, the real line. Here you can add some bungee if you want to, and then pull the reel tight. And close the reel. So this is it. It's gonna help you spear. Easy to load, perfect. Just three things, the backpack, the grip, and the pairing. But this is gonna be the last video. So thank you and goodbye. Follow up and comment if you want to for this really nice spear gun with carbon, this red string. This looks very nice.